Whilst I'm out and about doing Willet runs, I figured this is a great time to insulate this shop. So I've started over here on this wall, moving stuff back from the wall, taking stuff off the wall. It's not been a fun task. I'm about a third of the way done. I started on that corner just a few minutes ago, got all the metal out of the way. Head down that wall and go do that wall over there. I just, I don't want to do this at all. But it's got to be insulated. The cold weather's coming. Um, you know, I told y'all that I was going to do um, sawmill lumber, rough cut lumber vertically. Well, here's the deal. I'm not doing this again. And I don't know how long it's going to be before I can get uh, rough cut lumber. I'm seriously thinking about either buying metal, putting it up, or... Just leave it to insulation exposed because, like I said, I'm not doing this again. No, sir. Once the insulation is up, I'm either putting something up immediately or I'm going to put all the stuff back like it was. <laughs> anyway, let me get this done. I'll be back when I get everything away from the wall. Well, I got everything off the wall and away from the wall except for a little bit of knick-knack bull crap here. A little bit of knick-knack bull crap right there. Um, this is amazing that you have this much junk in a shop and still have room to work. That's just, that's wild. Anyway, tomorrow I got to pull these two by four braces off for here and up yonder. And then, you know, I'm going with two by sixes, except for right here will be a two by 10, you know, so, so I can have my shelf back. I will start on that tomorrow. And I guess I'll see y'all tomorrow. Well, as you can see, my shop is in disarray. Um, you know, I told y'all we was going to be putting insulation up. Well, I got everything away from the walls. It's all jammed up in the middle. My dandy, handy, dandy assistant is over here tonight helping me put up these two by sixes. We're getting the top ones while I got help. I can get these bottom ones by myself. Hopefully we can get this wall done because it's going pretty fast. And then we'll start on that back wall. If we can get them two done tonight, I think we'll be doing all right. We got three runs on that wall. We got from here up to there on this wall. Uh, didn't get this done. I am gonna start on the lower sections till I get some help. That'll be, I don't know, a couple of hours anyway. I think I'm gonna start with the shelf firstly. So let us get busy. Well, I got the shelf done all the way around, except for this section right here. We're gonna have to move this plug and conduit and all that. Uh, might do that tonight sometime. I think now I'm gonna start right over here. I gotta make two runs, that one and one on the floor, all the way around. Well, it's been a couple of days since I have worked on this. I gotta get the very top run up there. And then uh, we gotta put us a nailer on top of my shelf here. This is 2B6, this is 2B10. Um, well, let me tell you this firstly. Remember how I said I was gonna use rough cut lumber? Well, that's not happened. Long story, uh, I won't get into it, but I will tell you this. When I put this shop back together, 
I'm not tearing it apart like this again, no, sir. So I've decided to go with 10. I get it pretty cheap. Uh, so what I gotta do is put a nailer on top of the shelf, a nailer on the bottom shelf, because the 10 is gonna come from the floor up under here, and then up from here up to the ceiling. I gotta have something to screw it to. So what I'm using is the 2B4s that we use for the bracing here and up here. That's what I'm gonna put as nailers up here. So I need to get busy doing that. I've gotta get this shop back in order because this, you know, it's driving me nuts. Plus it's fixed to turn cold and this is where we're working for the winter. I'm not, I ain't working outside this year. No, sir. I don't plan on it anyway. <laughs> Let me get this done. And then I call that guy and say, please come insulate my shop. Basically how I'm gonna locate this in and out is these two two fours here. They're screwed to these. I'll bring this out to them. Let it get space right. And I shall nail them. Just like that right there. When I get the bottom run done, I'll come back and do the same thing on the top. Well, I got the bottom run done all the way around, as you can see, maybe. Top run, I'm gonna do a little bit differently. Um, I'm gonna take me a 2B6 block, put me a mark on either end. Ooh, look at this wasper right here. Let me let me take care of him real quick, like for you. Hey, get off, get off over from me. Ooh, that sucker like to got me. He's better get on here. Yep, he's dead now. He won't be stinging me anymore. There he is right there. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, I'm terrified of being stung. Anyway, this block that got knocked on the floor, put a mark here, and I use it to put a mark here. I'm gonna put the two before up here, just like that right there and nail it. <laughs> Let me see if I can't get this done. Woo well, I got my top board done. That didn't take very long. Next project. Let me show you right down here. The welder plug and conduit's got to move because I got to have a, at least a shelf or something here, you know, for a nailer. So I think what I'm planning on doing, well, I'm gonna take it loose from here. Of course, I'm gonna, you know, cut it off in the box. I'm gonna try to twist it down and attach it here and then put a block over here to attach it to and then put a 90 so I can bring it out, bring this, you know, box out past where my metal is gonna be. I think it'll work. So let me get busy undoing this and i'll have to go to lowe's get me a 90 i'm probably gonna have to get some more lumber for that up there anyway let me get this tore out uh, what in the devil who tightened them things good gracious Alrighty, I'm gonna get these here big wires out here. Alright, I'm gonna turn this main breaker off whilst I pull this out, because no more like this will go whack a whack a It'll go whack a whack on me, <laughs> and it might hurt. Oh, wait a minute, I got this. <sighs> I gotta undo this box here. All righty. Now, let's get this run back in here first, Lee. All right, I got this back in the box. What I was gonna do is strap it here to this brace. And then, you know, I have to cut it shorter so I got enough wire, but put a elbow here, bring it out past, you know, the wall and fasten it to a block of wood here. I think that'll work. Um, I might have an elbow somewhere, I doubt it. I'll go look and see if not, I'll have to go to Lowe's and get some stuff. Plug and conduit is moved, yes, sir. Um, this yellow here, I, you know, that's as far back as I cut it without getting into the actual curve of it. So my wall, it's probably gonna hit about half of that box. I don't care, fellas, it's a shop, it don't matter. Um, 
Anyway, I'm glad to get that done. Let me show you what I forgot about down here, though. My shelf here is a 2B10. They're a little bit flexible. Yes, sir. So what I'm going to do is put braces underneath them. Just probably two per section. I think it would be just fine and dandy. So let me get these nailed in. Then I'm out of wood. I got to go loose. down and several to go well i came out here looked through my scrap wood seeing if i had anything i wanted to use not really i want two befores that's the only one i see really um uh, anyway i looked up and well the dang old dodge has a busted side window yes sir, i ain't got a clue um uh, looks like the epicenter is right here and everything moves out from there i don't know if i did it mowing somebody shot it i ain't got a clue that's just well Y'all know all about MLS. I ain't going to tell you about it. Anyway, I got to run to Lowe's. And then after that, I got to go help a buddy that I used to work with. He wants me to help him replace a bunch of windows in his house. Um, when I get done with that, I got to get this finished because I want to get this thing insulated this week. So I'll see y'all in a few hours. Well, I got all the bracing done. Now, we get to climb up on the ladder over yonder. I got to run across there and then a short one here. Show one over yonder. I think we'll be done. Yes, sir. I'm going to video this just in case I fall to my death. I want it on video. Y'all know I don't like heights. Anyway, let me get this done. Well, I think I got it all done. I'm going to go email that feller. Tell him, come on out and look at it tomorrow. Maybe they'll get me scheduled for this week to get it insulated. i tell you what, it's 10 o'clock approximately. I'm hungry and I'm tired. I'm going to go get me some food at Wendy's. Yes, I'll see y'all later. Well, as you can see, we now have insulation in the shop. And let me tell you, there is no echo at all. I wish it would stay like that, but fix to put metal up so the echo is going to be right back. Yes, sir. Speaking of metal, let me show you what I got. Well, there it is right there. Of course, you know, that's my flat metal. And then there's one bundle of J-Channel. Here's the other one right here. Let me explain to you about the metal real quick. It's what they call a reverse run. See that color right there? It's some kind of brown, I think. Normally, that would be the color out here. But, well, let me just show you out here. You know, you got the, the face that you see. And then the back side is this white color here. Well, there's something wrong with that color side. And they will do what is called a reverse run. They form it where you actually see the backside color. That's what this is. It's a lot cheaper. So that's why I decided to get it. Now, as far as where all the J channel is going, let me show you real quick. Um, I'm going to run J channel all along the floor. All along the top side of my little shelf. And then up both sides of the pole all the way to the top. Won't be nothing across here. There won't be nothing on the bottom side. You can't see it. It's a shop, fellas. It, it don't matter as long as I get something up. Uh, this is what the plan is. Do this wall completely first. 
then do that one and then do that one that way this is the side i work out of mostly so get this wall done i can put stuff back and i can start working again if i need to uh i think i'll start on the floor putting this no i'll tell you what i may run it up the poles first yes sir let's do that run it up the poles then we'll do you know the floor and the shelf so let me get busy doing that while i got all of them cut that go up the poles i think we'll start on the bottom run right cheer um where did they go all i got is roof and nails and i ain't got a whole lot of them so i'll go as far as i can then i'll probably have to run to town and go get some more nails all right you son of guns let's get this son of a gun nail them up i hate roof and nails you usually hit your thumb or finger more than anything yes sir It helps if you hit the nail. Ooh, it's hot. So oh, very, very hot. Well, I finally got smart. I borrowed my nephew's nail gun. I was afraid it might shoot it through the metal, but it seemed to be doing all right. Well, that right there, he's, he's, yeah, it's kind of through it. Let's try some more. Eh, it's borderline. I think it'll do good enough. Um, as soon as I get this run done, I gotta go along the floor with J Channel. Then we'll start putting up some flat metal tonight, maybe. I think I got all my J Channel done on that one wall. So now it's time to start putting some metal up. We pre-drilled the holes. I've already got them marked. Got my drill bit ready. Let me get these drilled. We'll go to putting metal on the wall. All right, let's go put some metal up. Last piece right y'all. Well, that's aggravating right there. Mm, son of a biscuit. Well, I got one half of one wall done. Well, it's more like one third of one wall. Um, this looks pretty good though. I think I'm gonna be pleased when we get it done. I might end up regretting putting J-channel on the bottom. The only reason I did it is I thought it would look better than just that bare end of that uh, tin. But I think it, yeah, it probably would look okay without that J-channel. It's gonna get filled up with trash, which you know, I knew that. But anyway, you just blow it out. Ain't no big deal. Tomorrow, uh, so I'll be getting help tomorrow afternoon by my handy dandy assistant. We're going to do this and hopefully at least start on that. And whilst I wait on him, I'm going to do the other bottom half. At least that back wall. Hopefully, you know, I can get that wall done too. It'd be nice anyway. Uh, like I said, I want to get this one done first. 
than that one or just half of that one and i can put this stuff back over here and you know we can continue to work on the old 40 when it comes time anyway see y'all tomorrow well i got the back wall done the bottom half my handy dandy sister showed up and we're starting to do this top now it's going pretty fast you know you always slow down when you got a, a piece you have to cut but i think we'll be able to get this whole wall done and we'll probably start over here been a few weeks since i've updated the video you don't know why i've been sick we ain't had a, a video on the extra channel in a while either last night though handy dandy assistant come over we got this wall done right cheer so you know what that means right here i can get all this garbagery back where it goes so i'm telling you that's been driving me absolutely nuts so what i'm fixing to do i'm gonna snap my fingers on the count of three all this right here's gonna be where it goes one two Ta-da! That looks mucho batero better than it was a little while ago. Yes, sir. It's still a little cluttered. You know, that's that's 40 stuff. And I'm going to get me some speed racks. Well, matter of fact, I had found some pretty cheap. But the day I was supposed to go get them, I got sick. And then he ended up selling all of me hats. So I got to wait till he gets some more. But we're going to put at least one speed rack, pallet rack, right in that area there to get all of that junk right there up off the floor yes sir that bothers me too i don't like clutter in case y'all haven't figured it out no sir i got one more thing i want to do on this video before we ended up mail call uh that's i've been needing to do that for two months anyway that's part of it right there i'll gather all that up but i gotta go do some other stuff firstly before we do that uh y'all know how it goes there's always something to do before you can do something let me go do the other something then we'll be back in a little bit well here's my pile of mails that y'all had sent me over the last couple months i actually videoed opening most of this stuff i was gonna put it in another video then i decided to pull it out of that video then i deleted it yep so i gotta do it all over again anyway let's start right here this i ain't gonna read letters uh y'all might not want me to but this is from stig from sweden he sent me this electronical bantry tester i done checked it out over i got me four batteries over there and I done checked it out, and it seems to work pretty good. And he sent me these. He, I think he emailed me, told me he was sending me this stuff. He told me he was sending me that battery checker. And he said, I'm sending you something that you might not know what it is. And he was right. I had no clue. I looked this. I had an idea, I guess, because of this. It looked like a, a brake bleeder. So I looked up Blake, brake bleeder wrench. That's what it is. You uh, stick it over your bleeder. And then you put your hose here, and you just turn it like that. Um, we might check him out sometime. Appreciate that, Stig. Next, uh, I got this today, actually. This came from OMC Studios. Basically, they said they saw me sanding on the 40 over there the other day. Dust flying everywhere. So they got me this here mask. I've already got one of these. Matter of fact, I, I wear it painting. I did in that video. But this will be a good backup when the other one finally tears up. Appreciate that, OMC Studios. Then, right here, I got me some Mitato Mitatoyo. Is that how you say it? Mitatoyo calipers. Right here. Digital. And they also sent me this mat right over here for my knees. But it does better as a mat, you know, at this work table. It's really soft and squishy. I can stand here just a few seconds. And you'll see the imprint of my boot. Uh, yeah, it's pretty soft. That was from, let me make sure I got the right person. 
Well, there is no information, but I do know that Maintenance Kev is his username on YouTube. I do know he sent me that. Appreciate that, Mr. Maintenance Kev. That'll come in handy. Then, this right here is clothing from Angie and Mitch in Sacramento, California. Uh, it was two work shirts or pocket tees. I don't have them on. Tonight's Saturday, and I do laundry. Uh, but they're blue pocket tees. They're, they're really comfortable. And I may buy me a couple more because I really do like them. Appreciate that. Then, I got this big old tin here uh, from Opportunity Barn. That's, they, that's their YouTube channel. And uh, to this and that garage, Humpty Dumpty Shop. And I was trying to figure out why are they calling it the Humpty Dumpty Shop. Then I remember that <laughs> when we were building this shop, I think I started out every video, you know, saying something about putting Humpty Dumpty back together again. That's where that comes from. And the tin, it's actually Humpty Dumpty Tater Chips. Never heard of it. I opened it up, and it had safety glasses. It had all these earplugs in it. And it had three bags of tater chips, Humpty Dumpty potato chips. Yes, sir. Oh, it had uh, three root beers, too. I don't like root beers. I give them to uh, my little nephew or great-great-nephew, whatever you want to call him. Anyway, this tin, I like it. It's, it looks like it's pretty old. Uh, the tater chips were good except for salt and vinegar. I just don't like them. But the others, they were pretty good. Appreciate that. Um, let me see if it gives their actual name real quick. Chris and Trish. Yes, sir, from Maine. All right, appreciate that. Now, let me go over here and see what we got. This stuff here is from Aussie. He sends me stuff pretty regularly. And it's uh, just points distributor cap, two of them. And then there's a coil in here. Um, going to need them because with this three-deuce manifold, I don't think I can run an HEI distributor. I think it's too big. It hit the carburetor. We'll have to see. So I'll probably be using that on, on the old 40. Then he sent me... Um, let me see what all's in here real quick. That's a bag of Chevrolet, small block Chevrolet rocker arms. That is a bunch of push rods. And, uh, this, I don't remember. That sounds like more rocker arms. Let me open that up and see what it is. I don't forgot. No, sir. That is head studs, brand new. They have not been used. Then, let me show you. Let me get this closed, and I'll show you what else he sent me. He sent me a whole set of roller rockers. I don't know what we'll put them on. They've been modified a little bit, but I don't know what we'll put them on. The next hot rod motor we build, we'll put them on there. I, that's probably clearanced. Maybe it had a high lift cam. But anyway, that's pretty nice. And he, a couple of bucket of bolts he sent me there. Um, appreciate that. Then... I got this great big old box right over here. I'm going to have to go look at the email and see who sent it because um, nothing came with it. So let me go back and see who sent it, and then I'll open it and show you all what it is. Robert from Jacksonville, Florida sent me this right here. It's a bolt bin. It just as soon as I figure out how many slots I got and what all I need to fill it with, we'll head to the bolt store. We'll fill that sucker up. Fully on a bolt uh, sponsor. I don't need them. I got this right here. Appreciate that. Thank y'all for everything you've sent. If you sent me something and I didn't show it, well, it's been a couple months. It's been a little crazy around here between being sick and then having this shop to all the pieces. So if I forgot, oh, I did forget one. I see it right now. Hang on just a minute. Yes, sir. Somehow I skipped over this motor pulling plate, motor lifting plate. Uh, I believe that says feel is the one that sent it to me. It don't say where he's from. But the reason I didn't use it the other day when we pulled the motor out well, it's made for a four bubble, but I think we'll drill it for a two bubble. Yes, sir. Um, may do it here and use it when I put that back on there. Anyway, appreciate y'all sending me that stuff. If you got something you want to send me, look in the description of the video, and my P.O. Box address will be in there. Appreciate it. Well, I think we'll end this video up, but I'm pretty pleased with this, this metal. Looks pretty doggone good. I know we ain't done with this wall here. It's liable to be a while before we get done with it. I ain't worried about it. As long as we got these other walls done so I can get my stuff back where it goes because having it all piled up right here, that was driving me crazy. Yes, sir. Like I said, I'm going to get me some speed racks over there as soon as I can. Uh, the insulation seems to be doing pretty good. It's, you know, with the doors closed, 
it, it'll be 10 degrees cooler in here than it is outside. You know, I got my, my thermometer over yonder. What's the temperature right now? It is around 60-ish. I've had my heater going because I've been doing a little bit of painting and stuff. And it's, I think the insulation will be just fine and dandy. Need to get the doors insulated. Got to get them brushes over the gaps in the doors. But let me tell you, it's a far cry from being over in that garage with the door open and that heater right there going wide open in between video. And oh yeah, this is wonderful. I love my shop. I got some of the stuff back up on the wall. Um, you know, I told y'all I was going to have a big American flag right up there. I'm still going to do that. And then below it, I got, I don't know, 15 or 20 old license plates right now. I hope to keep collecting them. Probably going to put them right up in there. I might put a piece of plywood up there and then screw the license plates to it. Anyway, we're going to end this video right here. Appreciate y'all watching.